<laughs> we got old Copper McGee right here. <coughs> Please stop recording. <laughs> no, I got that. Coughing. That's going in the video. Ugh. That's re that is real life. You coughing all this the time. This is real life. This isn't staged. <laughs> been a beautiful it was beautiful yesterday it's a beautiful morning today and we are going on a walk we are going to get some bagels there's a really good bagel place that we walk to every now and then all right so here's the the latest that we've been the latest challenge that we've kind of put as a family is um, the last couple months, we haven't been eating very healthy. Well, we have, we have, I have. And so when I say just like treats too. When I say we, I mostly mean me, because Danielle's <laughs> Jake, a really good you guys, eater. Jake loves Oreos. He's had them <laughs> since he's grown up. I don't really care. It's, for it's them. my nightly ritual. I go right before I go to bed. I have four Oreos and a glass of milk. Yeah, and if you want to know how to properly dip an Oreo, look up our video. The trick with the Oreos is yeah, you get a fork. A you put the fork in the cream and you put it in the milk and that way your fingers don't get milky and crumbly and you get a good nice and you you got a Oreo you soak the Oreo too. you soak the Oreo in the milk um, and you wait for the bubbles to stop coming up and that's the perfect time but you to pull the Oreo out it. so then also I've been drinking a lot of soda too and it's starting to show like you look at yourself in the mirror like, oh man I'm getting kind of yeah, saggy and my love handles and the dad bod the, got the dad bod coming so but because he's such a great cook we finally said, you know what, May 1st, what? no sugar, no treats, and no soda for me. <laughs> so uh, that was, it was tough because I was averaging like two sodas a day. For What's your drink of choice, Jake? Coke, Dr. Pepper. Jake loves Coke and I love Diet Dr. Pepper. The cool thing is like we weighed ourselves, right? And normally I weigh right here. But when I weighed myself, I'm like up here. This week so far, it's been a week or almost been a week. I weighed myself and I already lost five pounds. Me too. So is the five pounds, you guys. Only from yeah, not I eating sugar and soda. Yeah, we haven't had any sugar since for almost a week. And I'm down five pounds and I'm really short. I'm five foot two. And when you're five foot two, five pounds is a lot. It's been a good week. It's a it's fun to just do something every once in a while to challenge yourself. For me, it's a good mental exercise. And I went to dinner with some girlfriends the other night and they got some dessert and I didn't even want it. It was awesome. Yeah. So boring. I don't know if it's boring stuff. We're kind of excited about it because Have we're seeing starting ever to see done results. A challenge like that, like a no sugar challenge or no soda or if any of you are like soda drinkers or it's been good it's, it's, it's fun, fun to see the results could... and then it makes you really want to keep and going. we're going to celebrate the results by going eating bagels <laughs> well, i don't know if i'm going to get a bagel i'm where we're going they to a bagel a shop you have to get a bagel honey you've earned it yes yeah, so uh again we're going to celebrate our success of a week of no sugar by, binge eating. by going to eat bagels because that's how we roll Do it smell good? Yeah. We just took a break to smell the to stop and smell the flowers. Guys, watch me on this. Nice. Let's see you do a 360 off. Oh, 180 or a 90. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. watch me jump off that. Oh, she's running. She's serious about it. Let's see the dismount. She's going the distance. Nice. Hey, what did you find? Oh no, what happened? Look at this one. Look, look at this big one. It's a daddy one. Oh, that's so nice. All right, let's leave them alone. Let's quit bugging the bugs. Hi, Lola, what'd you find? Pine cone. A pine cone? 
How far can you throw it? Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. What's up, dog? Ooh, look what we found. Ew. Things found on our walk today. Ew. Ow. Ew. That's a, that's a dead varmint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's garbage. Push it. We're at the intersection. We're almost there. Hold my hand. Alright, so we're in the bagel place. And this is the bagel that I got. I got a bagel sandwich. It's got eggs, avocado, bacon, and it's on an Asiago. Asiago bagel and mama bear. I'm realizing this probably isn't super healthy, but it's so good. All right, so here's the test. Let's see if Caleb will eat avocado. All right, all right. Let's get this for Caleb. Caleb, ready? What do you think of avocado? Is that pretty good? Here, here's some more. So um. <laughs> Our mailman who delivers the mail every day, his name's Kevin. Nicest guy. Nicest ever. guy ever. And he, Lola loves Kevin, and Kevin, Kevin loves Lola. So he's up here. Check this out. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Hello. Who is that? Kevin. What does he do? He knows her name too, which is so sweet. I mean, <laughs> honestly, how many of you know the name of your mailman? So that's my challenge for you. Get to know your mailman's name. <laughs> and he knows her name too. It's so cute. Hi, every day. She, when she hears him come up to the porch, she yells, she runs to the door. Kevin! Kevin! Hi, Lola. It's so cute. All right, we just got back from the bagels and the walking and, uh, we're back home and it's time to do some Saturday morning chores. So that's what we're off to. So thanks for watching guys.